Hello and welcome to June Pick of the Crop Paper Pumpkin Alternatives. The first project I want to share with you today is the little um, bag and I made my bag look like this and uh, the way I did it is I used the stamping blends. I used these four colors, the soft succulent, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, and Pale Papaya. And I just um, colored all over them and um, just kind of randomly to make it look like a soft color. And then I used a spray bottle and I sprayed it wet and let it dry. Once it was dry, I used the um, garden green and stamped on the um, bag and I really like the way uh, the way it turned out. For my little tag I just used an extra piece of um, paper that I had and I stamped a garden green um, piece of the um, branch from the stamp set and then I just did a uh, squiggled light pale papaya um, behind it and that's the effect that I got. So now I have a little bag to use um, whatever uh, for however I want to use it. I will probably use it to put some um, summer supplies in it like um, sunscreen and that sort of thing for a friend that's going on a trip. So I thought that would be cute. I wanted to go over the um, cards with you. Uh, these were the regular cards. I didn't do anything special for this one, but I thought it turned out really cute. Uh, the next one, I did go ahead and um, I bumped up the, um, the little cart on dimensionals and I rounded the edges of my baguette. I didn't like them as tapered as they are so I rounded them and I used a little bit of Cajun Craze um, stamping marker to go ahead and um, just daub the ends so they look rounded. I also added two sprigs of the um, Raspberry Bliss, um, Blackberry Bliss uh, on either side of the uh, cart. So that's how I jazzed that one up. The last one was the um, Love You a Whole Bunch. And what I did for this one is I just took a piece of scrap white paper and I used the Rich Razzleberry Light and squiggled on it and then stamped it with the stamp um, sprig and uh, cut a piece here and, and bumped it up. And then I used the little extra piece from the bottom down here, up here, I just tucked it in here and glued it flat. So I thought it made kind of like three points for the rich razzleberry and um, kind of made the eye uh, go a little bit better with that. So then let me talk to you about my um, alternatives. And the first one is a cart without the top. So I just took one of the card bases and I took one of the carts I cut out around the cart. I kept the top awning because I'm going to use that in the next card and cut around the flowers, um, bumped it up on dimensionals and also added some brads or some of the little, um, what are those called? The matte dots on, on the spokes and also added a sprig here. Um, I took some um, Calypso Coral and I made some dots around the um, wheels and up around the top. I just thought it um, finished it off a little bit nicer and I used the Garden Green for Thinking of You. 
The next card is, again, I used the awning piece. So this time I used the awning upside down. I tied a piece of twine around it and I just tied it a knot. And I used a piece of um, scotch tape to hold it down in the back. I glued one of the um, pieces here. What is that? Um, this piece, I glued it onto the awning first and then bumped it up on dimensionals. And before I put it down, I glued the baguette in the back. Then I fanned out four pieces of the um, lilac and I glued two flat and I bumped two up. Then I glued the happy birthday sign and then put my piece down with the dimensionals. Um, I think it gave it a nice little look. The next card I did was to create a, um, a fold card. And for this card, I took a regular card base and I cut it at two and an eighth inches. I glued the one half onto the, the uh, base. <clears throat> and then for the <clears throat> top piece on the right hand side or left hand side I'm sorry I glued the baguette only on the left and then I used one of the new circle punches and uh, used daffodil delight stamped happy birthday from the peaceful moments I added a, a sprig of um, with soft sea foam and then stamped it off behind it and then on the inside I stamped um, love you a whole bunch and I added two of the um, blueberries with the stamp set down at the bottom now the secret to my blueberries as I got going is I used the uh, rich razzleberry um, on the outside of the blueberries because that's what they did on uh, this and then I used the um, misty moonlight the light misty moonlight uh, to color them in and I just kind of randomly colored them in I didn't try to do it solidly so it gives a nice effect to that so fun um, happy birthday card and a little bit of a fun fold. The next card is um, I used the sample from the inside of the um, the inside of the directions and I made this card. You're the cream of the crop. Uh, pick of the crop and I stamped it or I embossed it with the gingham folder. I um, Before I did the gingham folder though, I stamped uh, three sets of the blueberries using the same technique, the rich razzleberry and then the um, uh, misty moonlight inside then bumped up two sets of the strawberries on dimensionals, stamped uh, your the pick of the crop, and then um, outlined it with a piece of Calypso coral um, paper and stamped that or bumped that up as well. Then I used three of the in color um, matte dots and I think that gave it a really nice look. Then for the envelope, I took a plain white envelope. I did the same on the outside. I used the Rich Razzleberry and the uh, Misty Moonlight, and then on the um, flap did the same thing. I like the effect very much. So that's that card. The next card, I, I paired it up with the 
bottle. What's that called? The um, bottled happiness. And I um, took my card base and I folded it I folded it inside like this. Then I folded it at two and an eighth. I folded it back. I added one of the um, bottles. And then I took my baguette and again, I rounded the edges and used Cajun craze to make the edges look like they're supposed to be that way. I took one of the pieces of vellum and folded it um, uh, around the baguettes. I took one of the um, stems of flowers from the bottled happiness and I used Cajun, Cajun craze. I added the piece of cheese by bumping it up. And then when you open it, it looks like it's, you know, on a picnic. Um, in a picnic and I did the hello and then I added the um, the blueberries down at the bottom. I really like this card. And then for the envelope, I stamped the bottle on the envelope. I added the Cajun craze so it complements the card. And then on the back, I took the Misty Moonlight and I just made lines across it randomly. And then I used Soft Sea Spray and uh, colored in between the lines with the Stampin' Blends. So it gives you the same kind of look as what is on the card. So again, a really fun alternative that was easy to do. The next one is um, I took a whole card and I made it into a card front. So I used, um, let's see, I used a regular white card base. I used one of these card bases and cut it apart. I cut all the pieces apart. I also added this piece, okay? So you'll see that I used a different uh, direction and I cut them apart so that the raspberries are now in front. And um, so it just gives it a whole different look, cutting the elements apart and then putting it back together again. And I used a piece of the um, rich razzleberry um, in the background, one of the um, DSPs that match it. And then the back of the card, I used the back of the card to mount my pieces from the front of the card. Then I glued it on an angle on the white card and then on the inside, I just simply did the um, stamped stem uh, once and then stamped it off a second time. So that was that card. So then I took one of the card bases or one of the, the um, envelopes and I made two cards out of one envelope. And so I think they're really sweet cards and the way I did that is I cut the envelope apart and um, to trim the envelope, I just trim off the very edge on the left and then on the right and then open it up and then just trim around so I get a whole bunch of this beautiful um, pink and, and white piece. Um, I used two pieces of that. I, I cut one that was about two inches by four um, twice. So, um, and then I took a piece of Flirty Flamingo and it is three inches by four inches. I used the gingham folder again and embossed it then glued a piece of doily on it 
glued the two pieces together and then I took a piece of the envelope from the front of the envelope from this part of the envelope and I made a three quarters inch by four inch piece of paper to glue right across so that you don't see where the two um, meet. Then I bumped up the strawberry and blueberry, added the you are the sweetest, and I had enough of the um, striped to add another striped piece on the inside. So both of the cards are exactly the same, and I used just one envelope to create all four of the or all two or both of the cards and then the last cards I'm going to show you we're not going to be making but if you're interested I wanted to share with you that I took a regular card base white card base and I used a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of um, sweet sorbet and then I made my own DSP. And the way I did that is I took a piece of paper that is eight inches um, across by 10 and a half inches long. I scored it at four inches and five and a quarter inches. And then I stamped along the score lines. I just randomly stamped along the score lines. Then when I was done with that, I cut it apart and glued them onto the card bases. I also glued a, a strawberry and a blueberry that I stamped with Memento Black. Um, I colored them with stamping blends and then I used a highlight or a color lifter to take some of the color off so I got some of the lighter um, color on them and that's how I made uh, these four cards so a great little set if you're looking to make a card set for a gift so there you have it I hope you enjoyed my alternatives for pick up the crop